Talk. Monkey Radio is entertainment for adults, by adults, and the views expressed here do not reflect upon FXBG Public Radio or its sponsors. For additional information, please refer to the United States Bill of Rights. Stand warned. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah, so a storm area 51. Uh, social media, media movement is getting somewhat out of hand, says a UFO expert. Yeah, so people are... Uh, I'll, I'll just read the article. All right. An expert on UFOs said Tuesday he's skeptical people will follow through other Facebook pledges to Storm Area 51. Uh, Facebook event page went viral over the past week as more than 1 million users responded that they will go to the top secret military installation on September 20th at 3 a.m. with the creator writing, they can't stop all of us. Quote, if we Naruto run, we can move faster than their bullets. The event... <laughs> I'm glad somebody gets that. The event description said, referencing a Japanese comic character known for his speed. Oh. Another one said, Let, let's see the aliens. No, this is what's in the description. So, yeah. <laughs> he can't just... Naruto, is that Naruto? Running? Naruto. Say it again. Naruto. Is that what it is? I don't know. N-A-R-U-T-O. Yeah. Yep. Naruto. Anyway, Nick Pope, who formerly... Is that why you're laughing? No, because I was laughing at how fucking stupid, stupid that, that statement yeah, was. Okay, good. Uh, yeah, anyway, Nick Pope, who formerly investigated UFOs for Britain's Ministry of Defense, said on Fox, Fox and Friends First that uh, the Facebook event has gotten somewhat out of hand. Quote, they won't go, of course. I think this just shows the huge level of interest in this subject. He, uh, he said, explaining that visitors to Area 51 would be more likely to find drones in next-generation aircraft than UFOs or evidence of aliens. Okay. Uh, the social media campaign made uh, national headlines last week as it grow, grew, uh, forcing the Air Force, which runs the installation, to respond with caution UFO to caution UFO enthusiasts against traveling to the area. Quote, Area 51 is an open training range for the U.S. Air Force, and we discourage anyone from trying to come into the area where we train American armed forces. The U.S. Air Force stands ready to protect America and its assets, spokesman Laura McAndrews told the Washington Post. You know what that means? You know what they just they just said? They, they said U.S. Air Force. They said American Armed Forces. They said U.S. Air Force. We are going to protect our assets. Mm -hmm. We want to remind you that we are the military and we have airplanes and other secret stuff. And guns. And We have more bullets than you have people coming to this event. Yes. <laughs> Uh, Pope said if that if the this is what I love. What the Pope or no. somebody last name Pope? Yeah, his last name is Pope. Oh, okay. Uh, I was gonna say they really they really got some fucking heads going yeah, if the Pope's the, getting in on this. Oh, Pope. it is. Let's go see what's in Area Fifty One. <laughs> Nick Pope, that's his name. Nick Pope. Why uh, did the Pope sound like Mario? Right. Anyway, this is this is the quote I love. Pope said that if the U.S. government did find aliens, they didn't tell us Brits. Referred to his work with the British government. He said that if anything alien-related was ever at Area 51, it's probably long gone. Yeah, it's at Wright-Patterson. Uh, <laughs> since the site has uh, been so heavily connected to conspiracy theories. All right, Area 51 is located near Groom Lake, Nevada, run by the Air Force, blah, 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 highly classified alien conspiracy theories. You, you know. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's the quote I love. If the U.S. government did find aliens, they didn't tell us Brits. You know why we didn't tell you? Brits? Because you told us. <laughs> you told us about the aliens. Okay. Well, based on the say, age of the I'm not saying that I worked in intelligence and know anything about this or anything like that. I'm, I'm just some guy walking through the halls over here and shit. But the Brit Brits told us. They were contacted first. <laughs> and we hated it. We were so resentful. That's why we... Uh, well, why did they like us? That's why we broke free in the revolution. In the 1700s. No, this is way after all that. No. Oh. You're trying to tell me the King of England didn't already know about it? The Queen of England. This happened in Rendlesham. I'm talking about years and years and years ago. I don't know. Unless she's... If, maybe if they're reptilian, a reptilian line. I don't know. Storm Area 51. Best of luck to you. Because if, what you want to see, number one, you're probably not going to see. And number two, if they had it, don't you think they're going to zap you with their death rays? Yeah. And their uh, reverse engineered UFOs? They're going to hit you with a gamma ray pulse? Or more accurately. Mutate all your DNA? Or more accurately, the first time people started really drawing attention to the Area 51, somebody would say, well, shit, it's time to move this to another base. 
makes sense to me. It's all based upon some dipshit officer in the 40s. I don't really know what's going on. The trucks and stuff. And then he changes the story the next day because somebody told him, it's like, you sounded like a dipshit. All because of that. Here's the thing for all of you uh, uh, alien conspiracy theorists out there. Take a piece of advice from the people in the world of uh, illusions and magic. If they're letting all this go on with Area 51, letting you think this about it, what is the other hand doing? That's where the sleight of hand, that's where the trickery is going on. So yeah, take a look at Area 51 all you fucking want. It's not the direction you want to be looking at. Yeah, over the last 50 years, they relocated all the aliens to the uh, moon base anyway, so. You mean the hollow moon? Yeah. There you go. You are in the know. You did hear over here this in the hallways. You conspiracy nuts. You're so cute. <laughs> You're so cute. I love it. I just want to pinch their chubby little cheeks. Well, it's just... Uh, and they don't... Nobody really discussed Santa Claus the way the U.S. Air Force shot him down in 1968. And, you know... Because I went to Wright-Patterson Air Force Base. And that's like the in the f first part of the, the base. Once you get past the checkpoint and stuff like that, it's a little... Like trophy room, and in there is this dis destroyed Santa sled, no reindeer, and there's a little story about how they shot him down in 1968. And so since then, you know, they've been you know, like doing the job. Mm. You, you know, that military budget that everyone's complaining about, like, <sighs> that's why toilet seats cost a thousand dollars. Yeah, I mean, basically they nationalized Toys R Us. All right, that's what really happened. Since we're talking about conspiracy bullshit. <laughs> 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 uh, the president went to the owner of Toys R Us. You guys are about to get huge. We, we got to move you to warehouses. We got to said we're gonna buy it all. <laughs> we got we got to buy it all.